Hey there, I have a message for you. Did you know I have hundreds of detailed tutorials showing a step-by-step in how to cut and style all types of hair in my app? Plus, you can be part of a private community where you can ask all your questions directed to me and of course, connect with barbers all over the world. If you want to become a barber with a high performance and make six figure a year, join us. The link is on the description on this video. All these trendy styles of mullets, I know is very hard because you just don't know the right technique. And when you don't know the right technique to execute this style, of course, of course, you are going to struggle. And of course, you are going to have an unhappy client. So the first thing you do before you start cutting, you need to understand what style you are cutting, what style you are going to execute. Within this style, you have shape, you have length, you have texture, you have angles, you have all these things to prepare yourself first before you start executing this hair. In recession, you're going to take one sweep with a comb before the apex bone deeper to the crown that's where I'm going to place my line my separation take another sweep here and now I have my spec my square panel and now I have my square panel I'm going to groom all this hair inside my hands and I'm going to take the hair away from the sides and make sure it's clean and organized so I can start cutting. By mapping out the hair, the head, separating in panels, you can put your focus on each section at a time and that and that you're never gonna get lost and be afraid again. The only difference between you and me is because I know something that you don't know, but now you're going to know. You're here because you wanna grow, you're here because you're seeking education, and that will set you apart from a lot of barbers in your community, in your shop, in your city. And all as well, clients, Clients see you are changing. Clients see how much you be involved, and that creates a new per per uh, perception of clients about your work, about your services, and and that adds add values to you as well. So here I'm going to take vertical sections, vertical sections, but with the head elevated to be able to maintain my base, my line, my hair length here. But when it comes to the nape, the hair will drop out but longer, okay? It'll drop out but longer, but I'm gonna take vertical sections here. All the way to the nape, groom, very small sections. Tilt the head. I want to pick up my section. And I'm going to lift the hair in a little bit of angle. And I'm going to cut. As you can see, the angle of my finger is triangle, triangular, because the hair is going to be short around the crown area and it's going to be longer here. So now I'm not placing any base. So now I have my length and I already have my shape. As you can see here, the, the, the angle of the comb, the crown is going to be short, 
and when it comes down to the back and nape, it's going to be longer. The shape mullet style have is a triangular shape. So now I have my guide from here, but all the hair from the crown to the nape is going to be over directed and elevated above 90. And now I'm going to bring from the occipital bone. Let's occipital bone below. I'm going to over direct the hair above 90. So the hair from here is going to be very, very long. Pick the hair with tension and make sure the hair is wet. Because now you have totally control and the hair is going to be cut very precise. So now from the center guide, I'm going to cut all around the back. Okay, and I'm gonna start on this side. So I have my guide on the center. And, I and I'm going to take a new section, which I have my guide and I'm gonna cut my new section from my guide. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring my guide to the center and I'm going to meet my new section to the center and then I'm going to meet both together so I can continue and maintain my length okay you always have to cut you always have to cut and you need to section in very very small sections because you need to see if you don't see your section if you don't see your guide, don't cut it. I'm elevating the hair. All the way to my guide. The hair is coming from down here, all the way to my guide, and cutting. We can call this a traveling guide. Because the hair from the bottom will travel all the way to my guide here. Always groom the hair away from the area you are working. Because the hair that you just cut, you don't need any anymore. Look, you groom the hair and the comb with tension. The hair comes first, then the comb, then your finger, then you guide your comb to the angle, to the elevation that you need. Pick up, elevate the hair, bring to your line, and cut it. Cut is the last thing you do. Cut is the last thing you do. I started with one section on the center. That was my guide for my length. And then I, I section a part, a new section. I brought them both together. I, this one travel a little bit to the center, the new one travel, and they meet together and I cut it. And then I continue to do the same thing all the way to the corner, following the head shape. Okay, don't bring everything straight back because otherwise you're creating a different shape. So this side is done, the whole back, I already cut my length, create my shape. But now, I'm cutting the length on my line here. So now by choosing your length, all the hair from here 
can go from there, but he's going to be much longer than the size, of course. But to choose your length, you bring it straight down, and you're going, you're going to cut whatever you like, whatever you feel like and the client asks. Okay, going straight down. Make sure always groom the hair. Hold the hair down with tension and cut it. Don't have the let the don't let the hair control you. Don't let the hair loose. So the the back is done. Now I'm going to cut each side at a time. I'm going to put my focus only here. That's why. You map out the hair, you section the hair with the big panels, and then you use your subsections to create your shape and cut your length, okay? So now here, behind the ears, if I take one section, one sweep, my comb, my comb will end up out of the hairline on my skin, okay? Because if I do a little bit behind this line that I just created, this section where I part here, the hair, my section will come all the way in the, the nape area hairline. So what I want there, all I wanted, it's a little bit of length here, so I can take my first flat layer, because now my length, my finger flat and my length were chose, I chose my length when I was cutting back here, remember? So now, this is going to be shorter. Going to be going back, this is a long mullet style. So, since I take this section a little bit big, thicker, I'm going to half them, split them in half, taking a new one, small, my comb is coming from here and I can see my guide from the inside. My fingers are flat because my, look, my guide is here. My fingers are flat, checking out for my length. You can't over direct the hair guys, you need to take each section coming from its natural growth. You can't pull the hair from your, your next section, your new section, to your old section, your previous section, because you're going to over direct the hair. So here, pulling the hair straight out, 90 degree. Angle my comb, my finger in my comb, and cut it. Taking a new section, room the check, and cut. Look where the hair is coming from. Don't mix the new uh, the sections. So you need to work clean. Don't mix the hair from the old section or from the hair all over the head. Just make sure you're pulling the hair straight, clean sections, flat layers. Once you understand this, you're going to be very comfortable. Don't leave any strain behind because this is going to bother you and you have to come back and fix it. I'm cutting everything. This hair is going to be groomed behind the ears, like that. As you can see, longer and shorter.
I'm going to do the other side now. So I have my profile in the center. I come from the side, pick up this hair. I haven't cut this hair yet. Now I'm going to pick up a little bit of the hair from the crown. And this, I'm going to travel all the way here since I want the long, longest piece. I want this as my guide. I join them together. And since this is going to be a round shape, I'm going to cut everything following Now I have my profile guide on the center and I'm going to cut both sides following my profile guide. So my profile guide it is in the center. I'm here on this side just to show you. This is my profile and I'm going to take a new one from here. Just groom the half back forward. Take a new one. So now I have my profile my length and shape and I have the new one which I haven't cut in yet come from the side you need to change your body position and this as well will fall follow the head shape like here towards the front and towards the side following the head shape make sure you're not over directing the hair or anything Now again, so I have two sections, I'm going to split them because it's so big, I'm still having my guide, and then I'm going to take a new one. Room forward, sweep, index on the tip of the comb, you see how clean it is? Now. Come from the side, pick up the hair, don't over direct the hair to the center. You always need to see your guide, okay, before you cut it. Guide to right here. Find your elevation. And find your guide. And you continue to do this until you finish one side. You can see 
see my guide perfectly here. You see how I direct the hair? Maneuver the hair and control the hair to the elevation I want to create my shape. So I finish this side. So I finish the top. Remember the hair now has no connection and I'm gonna have to connect this hair. All the top, all the hair from the top with the sides and also leave a little bit disconnected fringe if you want to, but I'm going to connect everything here. So I'm going to groom so I'm separating the top from the back first, groom everything forward. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a horizontal section and I'm pulling. Remember, from, from here, the crown, I use that guide to cut my length from the side and the length from the side now, I'm going to use to connect the hair with the sides but what I'm gonna do I'm going to cut following the head shape in round Picking up the hair, elevating, elevated. So the hair here, the transition will be a little bit soft. Moving my body, and I'm elevating the hair, and I'm cutting around the head. The last one will be in the center. until there's no more length coming from the top, okay? A few strands, you can see here, just cut it following the head shape. Don't over direct the hair and cut everything from here because it's going to be a square shape. Just follow face in the head shape. Do the same thing here on this side. So do the same thing here on this side, groom everything forward. Take horizontal section. My guide is right here. You see all this hair overlapping. See all this hair from the top, I'm going to connect with my sides, which is this. So here, the hair is a little bit elevated, to create more a soft and smooth transition here. following the head shape still horizontal I move my body depending on where the hair, where I'm cutting the hair, okay? Last one, just check if there's no overlapping, nothing, let's see, a few strands, moving my body, a little bit elevated, 
few strands here, elevated. So now, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to round off the fringe. And groom the fringe to the side. Take one section in horizontal, pull everything down. The first one, zero degree, round off, take it round it. One more section. I want this transition smooth. So I elevate the hair. And I'm doing point cutting here on the fringe. You see, I'm connecting this piece with this piece. So this is going to be round. Both sides are connected. Now I'm working on the fringe. Nice and clean. So this side now, as you can see, there's a small, small tiny bit here, small tiny bit here, and longer in the center. I'm going to round this off, make sure. The last thing we do is the style, because without the style, you're not going to enhance all the work that you put into it, all the energy, all the techniques, all the knowledge you use, you're not going to enhance, you're not going to make this style come out to life. And flip the ends a little bit, the tip of the hair, because I want to create more movement here. But down here, I want the hair more natural, downwards, and also I want to flip here right on the occipital on the center of the head. I want to flip a little bit, just a tip. And I'm going to dry the rest naturally. So on this side as well, the hair here is flipped. Now, can stay and I'm pulling I'm styling the hair I have to dry 100% here too using only my finger now and my hands while I'm, in, I'm drying I'm already imagining something that I can create here, and I'm drying the hair, and it's the position that I want to. This is the final result I wanna show all around. You see, very easy. Once you understand the principles of hair cuts, it becomes everything much smooth for you. Now you don't have to be afraid. This was the step-by-step -step in detail for you to elevate your skills, so you elevate your understanding that this is not a monster. What, what I have done here, look, you saw it, the step by step, and now you can see, it's a little bit shaggy here, just a little, but you see the sides, the, the sides you're flipping, shorter here, coming back, I groomed backward, it's flipping on the corners here, as you can see, longer here in the back, this side as well. So here is the perfect mullet, long mullet, short in the fringe, short on the sides. So I, I use a little bit of creativity here, my hands to blow dry and style this hair. So now look, I'm using my creativity and look and how the hair lifted, if it's gonna look good or not. So I'm checking around, 
So this was the step-by-step, -step. all I recommended to you, buy a mannequin head, it is an investment, follow the step, cut as many times until you feel comfortable. Once you feel comfortable cutting this, any client can sit in your chair, you're going to execute this hairstyle easy. It's very easy, guys, very easy. This is the final result, long in the nape in the back and short here in the fringe, very easy. This was the step-by-step, -step, a long mullet style. Now you don't have to be afraid anymore. Really recommend get a mannequin head and practice many times you need until you feel comfor comfortable with your shears, with your sectioning. It's not easy at the first time, but the more you do, the more you're gonna be comfortable, the more you're gonna learn. The more you learn, the more you earn, the more you grow, and let's grow together, and I see you guys on the next class.